welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a fun video on lots of different, on the different tropical floral smells, tropical flowers that are in a lot of different tropical fragrances. Fra these notes always make a fragrance feel really tropical and exotic and like a holiday. So I do really love all three of these. So I'm gonna be covering hibiscus, frangipan and tiare flower. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. It's all about perfumes. If you're a perfume fan like me, then do check out my hundreds of other perfume videos. And if you're a regular, but you haven't subscribed yet, then do hit that subscribe button and show your support. As always, all the perfumes I mentioned will be linked down below for the US and Europe. So let's start with Tiari Flower, which is a star-shaped white flower. It is the national flower of Tahiti. So if you're watching from Tahiti, then hi. So the first one I wanted to cover here is the Bulgari Omnia Pink Sapphire. Now this really cute sort of Barbie pink style comes in this like shell-like shape. You guys know I love these Omnia ranges that come in this cute shape. This is the smaller version, it's a 15 mil. So it has a separate thing like that that comes out, but the larger versions are like a click spray and it comes out here. This is a beautiful mix of chiari flower and frangipan with some grapefruit in there as well. So really like fresh holiday smell. Mmm, like drinking freshly juiced grapefruit in, the, in your breakfast out um, on a beach in somewhere very tropical where you you can smell like frangipan and tiari flower all around you. Frangipan or frangipani, not sure what's the correct way to say this. This is a um, tropical flower from the sort of Mexican, Caribbean, South American region. It's like a yellow flower and has quite a unique pretty um, very organized shape to it and then hibiscus is this beautiful red and um, pinky red flower which is often used in for medicinal purposes I think hibiscus and um, but it's I think it's both a plant and a herb and you can also get hibiscus in drinks and things. It's quite commonly used, quite popular, but it is lovely in a fragrance. So in addition to pink sapphire, we also have Omnia Coral. Now this again is like a tropical holiday fragrance. It's not too dissimilar from pink sapphire, but this is hibiscus and water lily with some sort of pomegranate type scents. In. So it feels very fresh, it feels very airy. Pomegranate of course is full of water. So this feels like a, um, a fresh airy and not as sweet as the pink sapphire, which comes through slightly sweeter with that citrus sweet. This doesn't have that. So it's more like a pretty floral. And this one lasts really well. I um, I've been wearing this quite a bit the past few days and it only takes a few sprays and then you can really smell it. And it's no de toilette though, so you would want to keep topping it up. And these little 15 mils, I just think are so cute. Like you can just take them anywhere. And sometimes these also come in like a flat pebble type shape. So even more convenient for your handbag. So next one I wanted to mention is Juicy Couture's Malibu. So I just bought this recently because I was thinking of making this video. This is a really affordable, really like out there. I mean, look at that great Perspex heart and very Juicy Couture bottle smell. This is such a bargain. I think I got this for like 10 to 15 pounds for this massive size. And again, this has water lily, but with tiari flower. There's other tropical notes in here, like watermelon, um, but it also has jasmine in, which does help this last and stick to your skin. So this would be great on holiday. You could wear this during the day, you could wear this at night, just put more sprays on. And cause it's so affordable, you wouldn't feel self-conscious about using it too much. And I think if you're a bottle collector, then I mean, come on, like for such a small amount of money, you can't really say no to such a cute bottle. <laughs> So if you're not familiar with the Guerlain Terracotta range, they are a range of bronzers and body products and also a fragrance, which basically to me smell like holiday. I do actually have the fragrance somewhere, but I can't find where I've put it. I must have packed it away with vacation stuff somewhere. 
Um, but this one is like an oil that you use on your skin, but it has the same smell. And basically it smells like tiari flower and it has a warmth to it, a coconuttiness to it. It smells kind of like Hawaiian tropic sun lotion. It like, it's got that very holiday feel to it. And whenever I smell this, I'm just immediately in somewhere very, very warm and hot. So if you like your bronzers and your body products, these also have this really strong smell, so you almost don't need perfume if you use these because you really can smell them. One which has lots of hibiscus in is the Jimmy Choo Blossom Special Edition. This is the original blossom, but they have a special edition which has a slightly more orangey tint to it. Could easily be confused with original blossom. It's pear, lily of the valley and hibiscus, so very light, fresh smell. Um, if you don't like lily of the valley, then watch out for it because you can smell that in here, but hibiscus definitely more so, but mainly pear, so pear and hibiscus, very delicate, nice, warm, fresh fragrances that go together well. So something, you know, a bit a bit different, a bit fresh, light, it's no de toilette. And I don't know if, they, I think this is limited edition, but they do keep bringing out these new special editions, but this latest one has hibiscus in, which is really nice. Also, Jimmy Choo Low de Toilette. I have it here in a mini as well. You see, it comes in this light pink packaging and it's tall and long. This obviously is an eau de toilette. This is a peachy hibiscus, so kind of on a similar vein, similar line to the um, special edition Jimmy Choo Blossom, but this has peony in as well, so it's very much like springtime, feminine, pretty delicate scent. Again, eau de toilette, so it's not gonna be amazing for lasting, but it's a very fresh, innocent, sweet smell. The Erin range from Estee Lauder, of course, have their hibiscus palm. This one is on my wish list. I just wish they weren't so expensive. This one is frangipan, hibiscus, and coconut. So basically this smells like holiday. It smells kind of similar to the um, terracotta range from Guerlain actually, bit of a dupe for that. And also kind of similar to Bronze Goddess as well. So it's got all those tropical holiday notes in it and I really want it. Erin also have their Gardenia Rattan, which is a Gardenia um, smell, but then it has Tiara flower in with it. Um, Gardenia is a tropical white flower, just like Tiara flower, so they complement, go well together because Mother Nature put them together, I guess. I did a video all on all on Gardenia notes, and um, basically it's a white, fresh floral, like Tiara flower, tropical flower, so they do complement. So this is a lighter, fresher one from Erin. Bronze Goddess, of course, I just mentioned is coconutty. Their O Fresh version has a lot of tiari flower in. I do kind of prefer it to the original because the original is so coconutty and quite vanilla-y almost. This one is a bit fresher with that um, more delicate flower note. They also have bergamot in as well, which helps with that freshness and complements the tiari flower. For an affordable tiari flower coconut, we have Maui Fantasy from Britney Spears. So this is like her Hawaiian version of her fantasy range. Yes, it's very coconutty and it has the sweetness. It's in all the fantasies with vanilla and some passion fruit, very tropical, but then it does have tiari flower, it does have hibiscus, and it has a number of other tropical flower notes in here as well. So I haven't been to Hawaii, but I imagine this is what Hawaii smells like. From Izzy Miyaki, their Loader Izzy brought out an addition last year called Pure Shade of Flower. And this was a really pretty, fruity hibiscus. So it was like a uplifting fresh hibiscus with some black currant and fruity nights, notes in. Completely different to normal Loda Izzy, which is a powdery aquatic. This is a hibiscus smell. So very, very different. Totally different perfume, basically. Um, but really nice, like really tropical and nice for summer and good for lasting, like all Izzy Miyake ones are, they're really well made. So um, do get this before it disappears because I think it just came out for last year. Roberto Cavalli's Just Cavalli is a tiari flower perfume. Very simple smell, bit of neuroli, bit of wood in the base, but mainly tiari flower. It's quite light, it's not particularly exciting or interesting. It's quite a simple smell, but I wanted to throw it in there. And likewise, Michael Kors's Wonderless Sublime is tiari flower with amber. 
this has orange blossom carnation so it is like a bouquet of flowers chari flower um again not doesn't bowl me over doesn't knock me out but i wanted to add it in and then if you do collect the anna sui perfumes then anna sui dreams in pink this is the pink handbag it is a hibiscus smell but it also has some raspberry cherry you know sweet pink type smells in there so this is like a sweet hibiscus and of course that really cute handbag bottle so moving on more into frangipan the ellie saab resort collection another one that has been discontinued so get it before it goes it is wildly available online and um, at heavily discounted prices actually i got this like half price mm, this smells of the orange blossom of ellie saab but it also smells like frangipan mmm it's like a holiday version of Ellie Saab. Well, I guess that's exactly what it is. It does smell like the original, that really classy orange blossom smell, but then it does have these um, these tropical notes in. Pomegranate, frangipan. So this is Ellie Saab on holiday in a beautiful couture Ellie Saab resort outfit. And I love the bottle of Ellie Saab. It's like so sturdy, I love the lid. And I do love this red bottle, which just really makes it like holiday and fun. And yeah, I'm so, when I saw this on half price, I'd wanted it for ages, so I just went for it. I will leave it linked for people in the UK if you want to get it at um, that cheap price as well. Jimmy Choo Illicit Special Edition, this is pink illicit, is frangipan and some fruity notes. So very simple, very tropical. Again, like, like a holiday version really, just simple, nice, fun, fruity frangipan holiday. One that you might not have realised has frangipan in is the Chanel's from their exclusive range, the beige one. So this is not sold everywhere. This is frangipan but with a warm honey note. So kind of, um, I see why it's called beige, because beige kind of makes me think of the skin, like this has that sort of smooth honey scent, warm scent that goes with the skin. And then frangipan makes this slightly floral but a so delicate smell has freezer in it has hawthorn so it's quite a traditional floral smell with honey close subtle not great for lasting guys but very classy smell armani's sun de gioia is french pan and vanilla it also has ylang ylang in um, but this is that warm like hugging vanilla frangipan smell if you like that warmth perhaps this is something you'd wear in the evening on holiday because it's got that warming vanilla in but you'd then have this frangipan which makes it very tropical another one with ylang ylang is prada's la femme low this is frangi frangipan tuberose ylang ylang so very very floral way of getting frangipan so you have to like tuberose you have to like all these other white floral notes as well as frangipan Joe Malone London, of course, released their frangipan flower cologne. I think this is discontinued, but it was great while it lasted. And if I can still find it, I'll leave it linked. This was a very fresh citrus frangipan, very much a summer scent. It had solar notes in, so that very warming feeling that you get when the sun hits your skin. This was perfect for summer. Sad is discontinued. And I love the yellow bottle as well. They should do more colored bottles like that because I did really love the bottle. Clinique have their Lily of the Beach from their little um, My Happy range. They have all these little perfumes that come in really small sizes as well as the larger size. So great for topping up during the day. This is their sort of holiday one, Frangipan Coconut again. So really, really like being on holiday and it's an eau de toilette, you just keep spraying it like really nice. It's that bright yellow sun color as well. So it just makes you feel like you're on holiday, I think. It also has chiari flower in it as well. And then last but by no means least, Stella McCartney's Pop is an unusual perfume with tomato notes in, um, but it does have frangipan in. It also has a lot of tuberose in as well. So if you're a tuberose fan and you don't mind tomato juice and you like frangipan, then this is that very unusual combination. Personally, like it's not for me. It's fresh, it's uplifting. It's, it is like a pop smell. It's just very like, ooh, fresh. You know, tomato is a fruit. It's a fresh smell, but it's not, I prefer my fruity fruity notes um, but it does have frangipan in so that's it guys I can really smell the Ellie Saab resort collection that I sprayed on me it smells beautiful so really loving that I'm so happy with my purchase <laughs> 
And that's it guys, so let me know what your favourite is from the Tiori Flower, Frangipan, Hibiscus, Perfumes, like which is your favourite, I'm sure there's others you'd add to this lid list as well, let me know in the comments. Do give the video a thumbs up if it's been helpful, useful, whatever, and do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. But that's it guys, so thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you again in the next video, bye!